Hi there YouTube, a little different video today. This isn't about harmonica, this is about cigar box guitars for my friends at Cigar Box Nation. And I uh, posted a thread recently about how I was able to make my own pickup using a, uh, a sort of wall wart transformer, the coil out of it, and some magnets. Um, and I just sort of described it and obviously people wanted more detail so, so I thought I'd make a video really quick about it. So, so first of all, let me just show you. This is what I'm talking about when I say wall wart transformer. This is the kind of thing you can find at Goodwill. They have a whole rack of them for like 50 cents or a dollar. Uh, and they're usually in small voltages, so you put plug it into the wall and it transforms the output into 9 volts or 12 volts or whatever for some appliance. It doesn't really matter what appliance the thing is made for. What you're looking for is what voltage it transforms it to. I wouldn't go lower than 9 volts or too much higher or you won't find too many higher than 18 volts. About 12 volts is probably perfect. Um, you have to remember that the, that the size, the number of the size of the number will indicate how big the coil is that comes out of it. So a 9 volt one is probably the smallest coil that you'll want whereas 18 volts is actually pretty big for a cigar box guitar. So what do you do? You crack open this sucker, the plastic, and inside you'll find a hunk of metal and the hunk of metal will be wrapped around this sort of plasticky looking thing with tape on it. If you look carefully, there'll be some copper coils. I don't know if you can see it on this video, it's kind of difficult. Right in there you can see some copper coils. This thing will be wrapped, there'll be a bunch of like, it'll be square metal things. And they're basically little, um, little slats of metal and you gotta use a screwdriver and some pliers and crack them out. After you get the first couple ones out, the rest come out pretty easily. And once you free it, you'll see something like this. This is from an 18 volt transformer, so you can kind of see how, how big it is. The one that's in my guitar down here, this sort of red one, this is from a 12 volt transformer. Uh, and so there's two coils on here. One will have thick wires and one side will have thin wires. The thick wires will have less winds on it too. What you want to do is separate them. They're on this plastic spool. You just take a, a, a Swiss Army knife or something like that and be very careful with this. Don't hurt yourself. And sort of cut them apart. I kind of cut off because you're going to get rid of this the, the, the thick windings, the primary side they call it. And you're going to keep the, the other side, the secondary windings. So once you cut that off, what you need to do is find the two ends, and in this case, they've kindly provided two little solder doobies, doobies right there, and you attach your wire leads to that, and that's what you're going to take to your output on your guitar. And uh, you got to get some magnets. Get some powerful magnets. I use these little tiny neodymium magnets. They're really strong. The stronger the magnets, and the more lines, the more output you're going to get. Um, and so basically once you get the, the, the thing separated and the leads soldered up, all you have to do is put the magnets in there, wrap it up. I actually used a little metal washer on one side to sort of anchor the magnets to something. And uh, then you got to sort of find a way to mount it in your cigar box guitar there. And what I did, so this is a 12 volt, um, the windings from a 12 volt wall warp. And I just took me a little um, paddle drill thing you know, a hold saw, and I cut just straight into the neck. So my neck goes all the way through the guitar, and I centered it on the neck and drilled a hole about, I don't know, halfway through, and just wedged that thing in there. The wires come out, and they go down to these two controls. Actually, this this guitar has two pickups in it. It has a piezo pickup, too, which is underneath in the bridge, and that's controlled by this knob. Uh, and then this magnetic coil pickup is controlled by this knob and they mix together through a passive mixer circuit and out to the amp. So I thought I'd uh, play it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. And what I'll do first is play it with each individual pickup. I'm playing through a Behringer Vintager amp, unmodified, totally unmodified. So, so this is just the coil pickup made from the wall board. This is the sound of just the piezo pickup. So you can hear already that the uh, that the magnetic pickup is louder and darker than the tinny sort of piezo pickup. 
But I kind of like actually to mix them together. So here's both of them all the way up. And you get sort of some, some more highs mixed with those lows, and it sounds like this. Cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, it's a sort of a cheap, basically free almost way where you can make yourself a nice magnetic pickup and you don't have to wind any bobbins of wire and all this stuff. Just a couple of magnets and the coil out of a wall wart transformer.